people like us. You're listening to People Like Us. You came home very late last night, Ayanda. It wasn't that late, Ma. We at System B's house again. Yes. Bongani and I listened to the radio in his room. Is that all? <laughs> of course, Ma. He's my best friend. Bongani is a good catch. He's a teacher at the high school. He's well respected. And he's very handsome. Don't you think so, Ma? Maybe he's not Ayanda's type, Tobeka. Not her type. Don't be silly. <laughs> I better get going before you get any more crazy ideas in your head. Say hi to Wangani if you see him. Right, Ma. She thinks I'm joking. She's young. There's no rush. Ayanda has her own path. Let her follow it. Coffee, Bongani? Please, Matemi. What's going on here? What? Mobile. Getting out of a car this time of the morning. There's nothing wrong with that, Ma. It's suspicious. And as long as she's renting room here, it's my business. Leave it, Ma. I'm sure it's nothing. Sawona, Ma. Sawon. Can I have some coffee? You look like you need it. Thank you, Ma. Nice and warm. Did a man just drop you off? Why do you ask? No reason. I have to go open the shop. Not all of us can stay out partying all night. She's acting strangely. Did you say anything to her about my job? Of course not. Because it is just a job, no matter what people say. I'm not judging you, Mobile. Don't worry about my Tembi. She's a businesswoman. All that matters to her is that you pay her rent on time. Anele, you won't believe what just happened at school today. What, do Miss Sunny? You seem upset. You know the mathematics teacher. Mr. Sitoli. Yes, Upumlani Sitoli. You know, today he walks into the staff meeting with makeup on. You're joking. Unfortunately not. At the end of the meeting, he stands up and says, from now on, everyone must address him as Unati. And that he will be known as Miss Sitole to the students. That's ridiculous. I, I don't know what to do. If the parents find out, it's going to cause big problems. Lord, thank you for the food we are about to receive. Bless our family and remind us to treat others as we would like to be treated. Amen. Amen. <sighs> I'm glad you came over, Baba. You've been keeping to yourself a lot lately. I'm surrounded by people, Nandi. Not the congregation, Baba. I mean, you mustn't shut yourself off from the people who love you. It's been over a year now. Spoo's arriving tomorrow. He's staying with you? Yes. Isn't it a bad idea? With your children? Of course not, Baba. He's very excited to finally meet his niece and nephew. Do you know why he's coming back? He didn't say much. It's been eight years. I don't understand it. I think he just wants to reconnect with our family. Have an open heart, Baba. He's your son. Thank you for coming, Bongani. It's been a tough day. Did anyone give you problems at school today, Unati? Some of the kids were making jokes, and the other teachers avoided me the whole day. What about the headmaster? Him too. The pupils in my class had a lot of questions. Look, if anyone wants to know, they can ask me. I also don't understand, Pumlani. <sighs> Sorry, I mean, Unati. I don't know where to begin. Why today? I couldn't take it any longer. What do you mean? I felt like I was living a lie. You mean, living as a man felt like a lie? From a young age, I've never really felt at home in my body. It's always felt like I was born in the wrong kind of body. When I grew up, I realized I have a man's body. But I don't feel like I'm a male. I've always felt more feminine. So, you're transgender? Yes. For the past few years, I have been living as a woman in private. Being myself when I'm at home is so freeing. Today I decided that's how I want to feel in public too. That's not an easy decision to make. I'm sure a lot of people won't understand, but I have to be me. I'm here for you, Unati. I'm just one person, but... One good friend is better than none. Thank you, Bongani. For more stories like these and to share yours, visit unheardvoices.africa.